Good morning. Let's go to the mat and do some yoga. Okay, so as you can see, you can wear pretty much whatever you want to. I don't know what the hype is about wearing specific pants, tops. It, it really doesn't matter. You're in the comfort of your home or wherever you're doing this. It's just about your comfort level. So anyways, let's get started. Come to your mat and get in an easy seated pose. Today we're just gonna go over some postures that help people just with basically stretching, whether you do a lot of cardio, weightlifting, or you're just a yoga person. This can be added to any of your routines. So it's per request, so I'll do my best. <laughs> if you're looking for perfection though, skip to the next one. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. So in an easy pose, just take a few moments to adjust yourself. If you need a prop underneath you, you can use a bolster or you can use a pillow or you can use a blanket. It's really up to you, again, in your comfort level, wherever you're located. So I like to adjust my shoulders so I roll them back and I don't forget to roll them forward. That opens up the shoulder blades. And then I take a few moments just to do some circles a few times in each direction. And as I do these, I let my glutes, all six of them, come up my thighs. And the whole time I'm breathing, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out of your mouth. And then I'll go in the opposite direction. And then I'll come up to an easy seated pose and I'll do a seated cow and a cat. So I'll really bring, bring my chest forward and look forward or up with my head and neck allow. And then as I exhale, chin and chest really round the spine. A couple more breaths, inhaling and exhaling. And one more, inhaling and exhaling. And inhale, come all the way up, sit up nice and straight and exhale. And again, roll the shoulders back and roll the shoulders forward. And I like to do that uh, switching out the legs. So I'll take my hands behind me. I like to bring my knees into my chest. You don't have to, and then extend my legs up. And again, you don't have to, and rotate my ankles, point and flex my feet. And then I'll switch out the legs. So whichever was inside, bring it outside. Or if neither one were, then just sit in a nice, easy pose with your legs extended. And again, going into those circles, a few in each direction. Seated cows and cats. Inhale, bringing your chest forward, looking forward or up. And as you exhale, chin your chest around your back. Again, inhaling and exhaling. And one more time, inhaling and exhaling. And inhale, sitting up nice and straight and exhaling again. Knees to chest or extend the legs up. I'll bend my knees this time and rotate my ankles, point and flex my feet. So now I'm going to do some windshield wipers. So I bring my heels down, it could be the width of the mat. My mat is in a different, it's horizontal instead of vertical. Whichever direction you choose is up to you. And I just let my knees fall from side to side. So this is a nice massage for your glute muscles as well. And then slowly come all the way up. Now we're going to transition into a tabletop. So make sure that your wrists are in line with your shoulders, your fingers are slightly apart and your thumbs are slightly in and you contract your belly button to spine, knees are in line with your hips and the tops of your feet are on the mat, okay? As you inhale, let your belly drop, lift your head. And as you exhale, chin to chest, really round the back. So it's almost like you're gonna lift off. Again, inhaling and exhaling. And one more time, inhaling and exhaling. And inhale, tabletop. Now come back to a wide knee child's pose. So widen your knees and within the mat, big toes to touch, tops of the feet on the mat, bring your glutes back towards your heels. And as you come down, you can rock from side to side if you choose, or you can stay static, which is don't move. So you can rest down on your palms, the backs of your hands, down, stack your fists or your forehead down and do the same thing. And then coming to stillness, if you're not already, stretching the side body is really important. So press your glutes down, walk your hands over to the left just a little bit, and then bend your elbows and rest your forehead down and really press that right glute down as you breathe. And then open the eyes, lift the head, walk your hands through center. Now over to the right. Now my left hand is on top of my right. 
I'm gonna rest my forehead down. Pressing my left glute down, so you're opening that side body, the glutes, and so much more. And then slowly come back to center. Now stretching your arms, your biceps, your triceps. Extend your arms, you can look forward or rest your forehead down. Now bend at the elbows, bring your hands towards your scapulas, your shoulder blades, or palms in prayer in the back of the head or neck and breathe. And then extend your arms, press your thumbs and your fingers into the mat and lift up. And then rest your forehead down. So getting a little deeper, you're gonna feel that going down the spine. Pressing those glutes down. And then rest your forearms down, lift your head. Now, in that posture, if it doesn't feel good when your glutes are down, because this is yoga for everybody, and you must have your glutes up a little bit, that's okay too. Just try to rest the tops of your feet, and you can still do the same movements from side to side or in front. It's just gonna look different, okay? You can still bend at your elbows and drop your chin to your chest, okay? All right, so now walk your hands back just a little bit. We're gonna stretch the spine, and I do this in all of my classes, and it really helps stretch the spine. So when we're in a winding child's pose, you lift your head, look forward. You walk your hands to the width of the mat. Your elbows are supple. That means they're bent, your shoulders are soft. We're gonna inhale, come into cat. That's rounding our spine as you inhale, coming up, and as you exhale, Walk your hands forward slightly, come into melting heart or chin to chest down to the mat. So your bum stays up. And then as you inhale, you slide your upper body forward and up and you extend your arms or bent elbows. So cobra or extended cobra, your arms are straight, legs extended. Exhale, come back to your wide knee child's pose. And do that three more times. Inhaling, cat. Exhale, lower down, chin to chest. Inhale, sliding forward and up, extending. Exhale, back to your wide knee child's pose. Again, inhale, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale. So we'll do one more. Inhale, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale. No pause for a breath. Inhale, rotate your wrist, flick your fingers, and exhale. Now transition back into tabletop. So slowly come up, knees in line with hips, wrists in line with shoulders. So let's stretch out our hips a little bit. So adjust yourself, I wanna make sure you can see me. Bring your right palm in and bring your right foot up. Now help it out if you need to. So you want it to be up here. You want your shoulder, your knee, the inner part of your knee to be in alignment. Now this left knee, if it's not feeling good like that, bring your knee underneath the left hip so it's 90 degrees. If not, leave it where it is. The top of the foot again is on the mat and you're stretching those hips out. Now, if you want to go a little bit deeper here, heel toe that right foot out a little bit, let the knee fall out. You still want to go deeper. Bring your hand to the inner part of your thigh. I'm not going down on my forearms this morning. Just some simple stretching for everybody. Now, how you come out of it is the same way you came in. So bring your right hand down, right knee in, and exhale. Now as you inhale, walk your hands back. Bring that right knee back to meet the left in tabletop. A cow on a cat. Inhale, and exhale. And we'll go to the other side. So walking your hands forward just a little bit, left palm in, left foot up, and again adjust. So this time, one side is always different, so if you need to adjust the right knee, bringing it in for 90, you can, or leave it where it is. Both hands pressing into the mat. Going deeper, heel toe that left foot out. Let the left knee drop out to the side. Stay here or your left hand just gently sets on your left thigh. You're not pressing it out. And you can look over to the left. And then slowly bring the left palm down, left knee in, and exhale. Inhale, walk the hands back. Exhale, tabletop, cow and a cat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. Exhale, chin to chest, round the back. Inhale, table, and exhale, good. Now bring your thighs to touch, as if we're gonna come into a child's pose, but we're not. So we're gonna curl our toes under. We gotta stretch the arches of the feet. If you're a runner, a walker, or again, do cardio, different variations of any kind of workout. You want your heels to touch, though. 
and then bring your glutes back towards your heels. Now again, if it doesn't feel good, wind your knees a little bit, wind your feet a little bit, but don't let your heels split out to the side. And bring your glutes back towards your heels, so you're stretching. This is really good for the arches of the feet if you have plantar fasciitis. And you can stay here or you can come up. And you can bring your palms in prayer. Looking forward and breathe. And then slowly come back down to table. Uncurl the toes and tap the tops of the feet. Now bring your thighs to touch again. Come into hero's pose. Glutes back towards the heels. So again, I already feel my heels splaying out, so I want to adjust them a little bit. So being on the tops of your feet, the bones of your feet you're not used to, so it's really good if you do a lot of cardio. And it helps stretch the bones. So from the tops of your feet to your knees and up your thighs. So you can stay here if you want to go deeper. Let me move forward just a little bit. You can bring your hands behind you. Now when you do bend your elbows, you don't want to be straight. You want to relax the shoulder blades and the collarbones. So relaxing right here. And you can stay right here with your elbows bent. You can lift your knees. Now, if your balance is really good and then your bones aren't going to flop down, then go up a little higher if the body allows, and then maybe you can bring it into a balancing. And then looking forward and breathing. Don't hold your breath. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Good. Bring the hands back down first. Bend your elbows and gently guide the bones back down. Come back into your tabletop. Tap the tops of the feet, cow in a cat. Inhale, and exhale. And let's do one more. Inhale, and exhale. And inhale, tabletop, and exhale. Now we're gonna come onto our glutes this morning. We're gonna extend our legs. Once you take one hand and put it in the center and one hand behind you and just lift up a little bit and then come back down and shake your legs out. This helps release tension in the hamstrings and in the glutes. We're gonna go forward, so relax. Let me bring my feet and see how I'm wiggling my toes. Wiggling your toes. Now to modify, you want to bend your knees. Just like this, let your feet relax. And you're going to come forward. You're going to place your hands in front of you. Bend your elbows and drop your chin to your chest. And you can stay like this for three to five breaths. Or as you go forward and your heels slide and they want to go out, that's your body telling you it wants to release. So just let them release out. And if you need to widen your legs, you can. Then walk yourself out. You can come down on your forearms, again, relaxing your feet. Or you can come down on the backs of your hands or stack your fists. Relax and breathe. Three to five breaths right here. So you can move your feet as you're forward. This will help, again, release your hamstrings and the tightness in your glute muscles, your hip flexors. And then slowly come all the way up. Using your palms to press yourself up. Why? Because it puts no strain or stress on your back. And shake the legs out again. So now we're going to go to the right leg. So one hand on each. And again, leave the left leg extended. You can bend the knee. What does it look like? You're going to shift your body. Both your glutes are pressing down. One hand on each side. And you're going to fold over. And see how my shoulder blades open up. I want to relax the arms. Now again, if that foot slides out, and you just drop your head down, you can relax your arms as much as you want. You can extend them, leave the elbows bent. And then slowly come back up, press your hands into the mat and come up. Walk through center, shaking the legs out, then over to the left, same thing, modification, bending the knee. One hand on each side and fold, and automatically sends that message when you drop your chin to your chest, Messages going down the spine. Or you're gonna extend and come down. And then walk your hands up. Almost went to center and shake the legs out. Let's do that again. So you wanna do this a couple of times because we don't want to forget how tight our hamstrings are, affects our glutes, affect our spine, affect our shoulders and our posture. So you want to get it all in there. So going forward again, this time stacking the opposite palm or fist, and you can rock from side to side. Wiggle your toes if you need to, three to five breaths going down. And then slowly open the eyes. 
nice lift the head use your palms to press yourself up just a little bit walk right over to that right leg and again bend the knee to modify and as you exhale fold Walk your hands through center, now over to the left, and exhale, unfold. And open the eyes, lift the head, walk back through center, and exhale, inhale, press the palms into the mat, ground, and come way up, and exhale, shake the leg up. So bring your hands out to the side, bend your knees, and again, windshield wiper the knees from side to side. And slowly come all the way up. Let's come into what's called a Baddha Konasana, which is butterfly. So butterfly, if this doesn't feel good, and stretching your root tips are really tight, or you got sore knees, you can slightly have a bend in the knee and move your feet apart. The goal is to go forward, or not. So when you go forward, this can be your forward. Drop your chin to your chest, relax your arms, elbows bent. Again, sending that message down the spine, going into rest and digest, relaxing the muscles and the nerves in the body. Softening your breath. There's no rush. Now, if you're wanting to go forward, you can slowly begin to hinge forward. You can bring your forearms in front. You can place your hands around your ankles, or if it feels good, where your feet are, if your feet are together, bring your forearms underneath, increase the calf muscles, and then rest your hands on your feet, and then drop your chin to the chest. It's kind of like you're smelling your feet, <laughs> and breathe. Slowly open eyes, lift the head. Now, if you raveled up, unravel. If your hands are in front, either way, press yourself up. And exhale. I like the butterfly my legs bent. We'll do that one more time. So whichever variation serves you. You can even this time place your hands on your ankles. When you press your forearms and you come forward, drop your chin to your chest. You may not go down as far, and that's okay. The stretches of the scrolling area here, the thighs, and pressing the glutes down. So take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, slowly hinging forward. And open the hands, lift the head. Now coming up, use your core to come all the way up. And exhale, use your hands to bring your thighs to touch. You can butterfly the legs if you need to, if you want to. And then again, windshield wiper. And slowly, very slowly, transition back into your tabletop. Cow and a cat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. Exhaling, chin to chest, round the back. Inhale, table. And exhale. Now I want you to curl your toes under. I want you to begin to walk your hands back to your knees and come up on the balls of your feet. So again, stretching a little bit more. And if you wanted to balance here and practice balancing, making sure your heels don't splay out, leaving them underneath your glutes, you can bring your palms in prayer. And if you're familiar with this, you can lift up on the glutes just a little bit. It presses all the points of the toes and the balls of the feet, not all the points of the foot because your heels are up. But you can work on balancing. It's really good for the quads. Okay, or not. Then bring your hands down. Now slowly, I want you to come into a forward bend. So extending your legs, and then bringing your heels down and bend your knees and let the belly and the ribs rest on the thigh. You can bring your hands to your elbows, peace fingers around your big toes at your belly or index and your thumb or palms on your feet. You can begin to straighten one leg at a time. Feet are about hip distance apart. to stillness, relax the arms. Now lengthening, different variations for different people. Your knees can stay bent. They don't have to straighten. You can keep letting, don't lock them. 
That's hypermobility right there. You want them supple, okay? Coming into lengthening, your palms can stay down and you can look forward or inhale, bring your hands to your shin bones and look forward, contracting belly button to spine and exhale back to your bend or hold. Do that twice more. Inhale and exhale. And one more. And exhale. Now looking forward if you're dizzy or lightheaded always in your bend or hold. Coming all the way up, press your big toes down and all the points of your toes. Now looking up, arms out to a T, fingers together, contracting, quads, glutes, core, arms all the way up, palms to touch, maybe a slight back bend if your spine allows. And then as you exhale, bring your palms in prayer and arms all the way down and shake the legs out. So now doing some standing stretches from here. Bring your hands to your hips. We're gonna focus on the right side first. You're gonna take a halfway step forward with the right foot. You're gonna take your left heel, you're gonna move it at 45 degrees. And if you look down, your heels are in alignment. You want your hips to stay forward, not locking the left or the right, keeping the knees supple. Hands to your hips as you inhale, look up, forward or up, and as you exhale, hinge forward. Hands can stay on your hips, looking forward if you're dizzy or lightheaded, or you can come down looking at your toes. You can even bring your hands down on each side of the foot, or you can leave your hands on your hips. This is where we're staying for now. Don't try to complicate it and breathe. Now, how do we come up? We use our core. So press into the toes, all of them, especially the big ones on the right and the left foot. Inhale, engage those glutes, quads, come all the way up and exhale. How do we come out of this? Hands are still on your hips, since we're not placing them there. Bend your right knee as you inhale, adjust the left foot and step back and shake the legs out. And then we we'll go to the other side. So feet are hip distance apart. Inhale, step forward, adjust the right foot. Now again, knees aren't locked, they're supple. Looking forward, inhale. And as you exhale, hinging forward. So don't let your hips go out towards the right. You wanna to try to keep them over that left leg. You need to bend the left knee, bend it. You can stay right here, looking forward, dizzy or lightheaded to your toes, or maybe try to your knee or your groin area this time. Bring those hands down if you get dizzy. Now pressing into the toes, look forward as you inhale, come up. And exhale, inhale, bend the left knee, adjust the feet, exhale back. So we're gonna try a different variation, shaking the legs out. Hands and hips. Or bring your hands behind you. I'm not gonna put your, tell you to put your palms in prayer, just reaching for opposite elbows. This is what that looks like. That's opening up the rotator cuff, your collarbones, and so forth. So, hip distance apart with the feet. Inhale, step forward, adjust the foot, and exhale. Inhale, lift the chest, look forward. Now as you exhale, hinge forward, bend that right knee to modify, bring the hands down to modify. Look forward if you're dizzy, or look to the toes, the knee, or your groin area, possibly your belly button. forward, begin to transition up, and exhale, good, inhale, bending the knee, release the arms, and step back, shake the legs out, let's try the other side, now the opposite hand, arm is on top, or hands to hips, inhale, and exhale, inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, hinging forward, bending the left knee to modify, bringing the hands down to modify, don't lock the knees. And slowly inhale, coming up. And exhale. Inhale, bend the left knee, and exhale, step back, shake the legs out. Now, Still at the back of our mat. Feet are hip distance apart, not locking the knees. This is known as mountain fingers are together. Roll your shoulders back, contract belly button to spine, engaging the glutes. Inhale, arms up, palms touch slight back bend at the spine and allow. Exhale, hinge forward into your bend or fold. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, come into your bend or fold. 
Inhale, walk your hands out to your downward dog. So I did it this way because I want you to look at your B. This matters. You're gonna relax your shoulders. You relax your hands. You should be able to lift up your fingers and your thumbs and, press, and then press them down and then lift up the palms of your hands. Your feet, hip distance apart. That keeps everything in alignment. And walking your dog, bending your knees at opposite times. This is a great stretch to stretch the back side of the body. Drop your head. Let it hang. Stretching more the backs of the legs. As you inhale, come up on the balls of your feet. And as you exhale, press the heels down. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Now pause for a breath. Inhale. And exhale. And one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Now as you inhale, look to your palms, and exhale, now inhale, walk your hands back to meet your feet into your bend or fold. So again, hanging, reaching for opposite elbows, peace fingers around big toes, knees bent or straight one leg at a time, or Uttanasana as your legs are straight but not locked, so you're hyperextending here if you're supple, and then you rest down. And let's come out of it. First, we'll come into lengthening as we inhale. Exhale, bend or fold. Now, reverse swan dive all the way up. Palms to touch, slight back bend if the spine allows. Exhaling, palms in prayer. Arms down by your side. Shake the legs out. We're going to do that one more time. So, adjusting your feet, hip distance apart. Arms by your side. Inhale, raise the arms up. Palms touch, slight back bend. Exhale, hinge forward into your bend or fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend or fold. Inhale, walk the hands out to your downward facing dog. Adjust your feet. Inhale. And exhale, relax your shoulders and shoulder blades. Now we'll walk in your dog. Inhaling. And exhaling. Coming up on the balls of your feet. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Good, now inhale, gaze to your palms, and exhale, inhale, walk your hands back to your bend or fold, and hang. We're coming into our lengthening, inhale, and exhale, bend or fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up, Palms just like that, bend if you can. Exhale, palms in prayer, and arms down. You can shake the legs out. So those are just some stretches that are good for everybody and to get you going. So I hope you have a blessed day.